all today we are going to study about a very very important topic and that is known as the biomolecules as we know very well that there are three important biomolecules carbohydrate fats and proteins in this video today we will be discussing about the carbohydrates now as you know very well that these carbohydrates are the mainly compounds of carbon hydrogen and oxygen if you see the empirical formula of the carbohydrate so you will see that they contain car carbon hydrogen and oxygen fine and generally these carbohydrates are called as saccharides whenever we study the different types of the carbohydrates we always say monosaccharides disaccharides oligosaccharides polysaccharides like this so generally these carbohydrates are called as what the saccharides and what is the meaning of the term saccharide saccharide means sugars means we are studying sugars fine these carbohydrates are the principal source of energy in fact i will say that they are the instant source of the energy whenever we are in requirement of the instant energy you know very well glucose is provided because it is the instant source of energy carbohydrates make up 75% of the dry weight of the plant world means the 75% of the dry weight of the plants is made up of the carbohydrates on which the animals life depends we are heterotrophs and plants are autotrophs fine so they produce sugars by the act of photosynthesis right and the food prepared by the plants okay is actually taken up by the animals means we animals are dependent on the plants so just i want to say that carbohydrates make up 75% of the dry weights right of the plant now carbohydrates are basically classified into three categories carbohydrates are classified into how many categories three categories monosaccharides oligosaccharides and polysaccharides mono means one oligo means few and poly means many means monosaccharides are the sugars made up that is uh, monosaccharides are single sugars fine oligosaccharides are made up of few sugar units and polysaccharides are made up of many sugar units fine now in this video we will be discussing particularly on the monosaccharides fine monosaccharides mono means one mono means one so these are the sugars which cannot be hydrolyzed further into smaller components means these are the simpler sugars we cannot hydrolyze them or we cannot break down them into more smaller components because they are the simplest one so these are the sugars which cannot be hydrolyzed further into smaller components most of the sugars have the general formula ch2o most of the sugars have the general formula ch2o means they have uh, it can be uh, shown like this type one carbon two hydrogen one oxygen one carbon if carbon is one then the hydrogen will be two and again the oxygen will be one okay so the general formula of the carbohydrate is ch2o now if we talk about the monosaccharide sugars so monosaccharide sugars can be classified into four categories triose tetrose pentose hexose again i am repeating triose tetrose pentose and hexose this classification of the monosaccharide sugar is based on that how much carbons are present how much carbon are present in the sugar say for a sugar a monosaccharide sugar with three carbon atoms a monosaccharide sugar with three carbon atom is called as triose its empirical formula is c3 which is indicating three carbons 
so C3 now we know very well according to the general formula the number of hydrogen atoms is double than the carbon right so if C is 3 then H is 6 and again O3 so the empirical formula is C3 H6 O3 of a trio sugar now let's talk about tetro sugar now this sugar is with four carbons the sugar is with four carbons C4 H8 O4 is the empirical formula now third one pento sugar sugar with five carbons C5 H10 O5 is its empirical formula and hexo sugar sugar with six carbons sugars with six carbon C6 H12 O6 so based on the number of the carbon atoms we can say that monosaccharide sugars can be classified into the following categories triose, tetrose, pentose, hexose three carbons, sugar with three carbon, triose sugar with four carbon, tetrose sugar with five carbon, pentose sugar with six carbon, that is hexose so these are the monosaccharide sugars now at least you must know the, the examples of these sugars say for trio sugar which is containing three carbon the best examples of the trio sugars are glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone dihydroxyacetone once again i am repeating the two examples of the trio sugar are glyceraldehyde and dihydroxyacetone tetro sugar having four carbons the best example is erythrose pento sugar having five carbons the best example is ribose xylulose arabinose fine hexo sugar containing six carbons the best examples are glucose fructose galactose and mannose and out of this you must know very well that the most common sugar is the is the glucose fine now if i talk about these hexoses then these hexo sugars are again classified into two categories hexoses are of two types they can be called it as aldoses and ketoses aldoses and ketoses simple why these terms are given those hexo sugars which have aldehyde group those hexo sugars which have aldehyde group are classified under aldoses and those hexo sugars those hexo sugars which have ketone group or the keto group are called as ketoses again I am repeating hexo sugar with aldehyde group are aldoses right and the hexo sugars with keto group are called as ketoses generally the sugars are aldoses generally these monosaccharide sugars are aldoses say for glucose, galactose, mannose glucose, galactose, mannose all are aldo sugars but exceptionally but i will say that exception is the fructose which is having a ketone group which is having a ketone group so fructose is included in ketosis and glucose galactose and mannose are included in aldoses okay now these are some important points related to the monosaccharide sugars okay which must be known to you now first part is most important sugar in animals if i talk about that in the animals which is the most common sugars which is the most common sugar so the most common and most important sugar in animal is glucose second simple sugar of blood you know very well which sugar is found in blood if somebody asks you that which sugar is found in blood to the glucose is found in blood glucose is stored as glycogen in liver and muscles as you know very well that the additional glucose in the animal body is converted to glycogen glycogen is the stored food material of animals so the glucose is converting to glycogen and then the glycogen is stored in liver and muscles main cellular fuel of the body fuel means which provide energy so the main cellular fuel of the body is the glucose now one sugar you have studied just now which is called as fructose fructose is the fruit sugar and it is it is said that 
फ्रक्टोज इज द स्वीटेस्ट नेचुरली अकरिंग शुगर आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द आर्टिफिशियल शुगर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट फ्रक्टोज विच इज कॉल्ड इज द फ्रूट शुगर इज द स्वीटेस्ट नेचुरली अकरिंग शुगर फाइन नो वन थिंग विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइन यू ऑल मस्ट नो दैट शुगर्स हैव अ फ्री एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन ग्रुप शुगर्स विच आर हैविंग शुगर्स विच आर हैविंग अ फ्री एल्डिहाइड which are having a free aldehyde or a ketone group can reduce cu2+ to cu+ and that's why these are called as reducing sugars again i am repeating sugars having a free aldehyde or a ketone group can reduce cu2+ ions to cu+ and hence they are also called as reducing sugars now what is the use of this reducing sugars so this property this property of conversion or reducing or uh, reducing the cu2+ to cu+ this property of the sugars is the basis of the benedict test and the felling test which are used to detect the presence of glucose in urine the best test to know the presence of the glucose in the urine are the benedict test and the felling test and this benedict test and the felling test are based on the property of the sugar which are having the aldehyde or the group ketone group which can reduce cu2+ to cu+ fine so these are some important points related to the sugar so uh, in today's video we have discussed only about the first type of the sugar the simplest sugar that is known as a monosaccharide sugar in the forthcoming videos we'll be discussing the two more types of the carbohydrates one are known as the oligosaccharides and another are known as the polysaccharides so keep watching thanks a lot i have given the slide of this video at the last so you can maintain your notes thanks a lot